hello everyone and welcome back to my channel welcome to the sewing tutorial for this jumpsuit these are the patterns you'll be needing Now starting with the top um, insert bodies, I cut mine in two different colors, one blush pink and one black. The black fabric is the facing. Now I'm pinning along the neckline on the back pattern and also pinning along the armhole. Take that to my machine and sew on my 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Repeat the same thing for the other back. Now moving on to the front, we're going to repeat the exact same thing for the front. Pinning both facing and main garments along the neckline and the armhole. Also sewing along the armhole, the neckline, the V neckline and also the other armhole. Once that's done, it should look like this. Now you want to turn over your seam allowances to your facing and give it um, a good press and on the stitch that. Once you're done with that, you want to turn that over and give it a good press. Also, you want to um, clip in to your curvy neckline curve. Clip to the stitching line, not through the stitching line. This way it lies flat when you turn it over. Also, you want to go ahead and trim off the seam allowances on your facing all around your neckline and your armhole. This way you're just reducing bulk when you turn it over, it doesn't look so bulky. Once that's done, you want to turn your inset over to the right side, give it a good press. And we're going to set that aside and move on to the bodies. Now working on the bodies, we're going to take the center front of our pattern, turn that over to the right side and take our side bodies and pin along the princess seam line. Pin also on the other side. Now, whatever we're doing for the main bodies, we're repeating the exact same process for the lining. Although I'm not showing the lining in the video, but it's the exact same process. Now you want to seam, sew on your 5 8 seam allowance along that princess seam. Once you're done with that, take out your pins and then press your seams open on both main garment and lining. Once that's done, we'll move on to the back pattern. Make sure you already have sewn your dart. And then turning it over to the right side, I'm just going to place my front bodies on my back bodies and pin along the side seam on both sides and sew that down. We're going to be repeating the same process for the lining. Once 
Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and press your seams open there. Here, I've already attached my lining piece to my facing, but I'm going to show you how to attach um, your bodies to the facing on the main garment. Now, you're going to pin from one V-neck to the other V-point. Here I'm starting in the middle of my, I'm starting at my center front. So I'm going to place a pin on my, on the seam allowance on my center front and attach that to my bodies. Now I'm going to pin along one side of that V neckline. Now in doing this, you want to be careful with doing this and not pin all the way. You want to do one V at a time because this um, kind of neckline is always tricky to sew. So you want to pin one point and maybe baste it, hand baste it like I'm going to be doing and sew one point at a time and also clip into your V's that way it makes it easier for you to be able to get around the corners here I'm just showing you again Pick one V point, connect it to the other V point, making sure that your notches are matching. Pin all the way from one V point to the other V point. Remember to clip into your corners. Now hand base that point you've pinned. Once that's done, you're going to take it over to your machine and sew on your 5-8 seam allowance. One point to the next point and then from that point to the other point. Repeat the same process for all the V point necklines. Remember to clip into your um, V neck so it, you're able to turn the fabric over to the right side without any problems. Sorry, I'm out of frame here. Here I'm just going to show you again. Turn your facing and your body's right sides together Pin from one V point to the next V point, making sure your notches are matching. And then sew that point down. Once that's done, you should have something like this. And now we're going to move over to sewing the side seam. 
with your part with your bodies and lining right sides facing each other you want to turn your garment inside out and make sure you match your seam allowances under the armhole pin at that point and pin all the way Take that to your machine and sew your 5 8 seam allowance following the style of the underarm. You should have a V. Now that that's done, we're going to move on to attaching, sewing the shoulders. Now taking the back pattern, we're going to turn that inside out. And then we'll slide the front bodies into the into the arm into the shoulder of the back pattern making sure that um, the pink fabric is aligned with the pink fabric that's main garment to main garment and facing to facing which here you can see pink on pink and black on black now you're going to paint that down take it to your machine and sew on your 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance once that's done you want to take your scissors and trim off the excess or reduce the seam allowances on the facing piece clip into your corners if necessary and then pull it out that way your shoulder seam will be nicely finished with the seam allowances hidden inside once that's done we'll set the bodies aside and move over to the pants Go ahead and sew your dots on all four pieces of your pants pattern. Once you're done with that, it should look something like this. Now take your front pattern piece and place it over on your back pattern piece with right sides together pin all the way on your side seam allowance and then sew that down also pin your inseam front and back pants together and sew that all the way to the hem repeat the same thing for both leg of your pants once that's done it should look like this now you're going to take one leg of your pants pattern and turn it right side out One pants pattern should be facing the wrong side and the other one should be right side out. You're going to take the right side out pattern and put it into the leg of the one which is the wrong side out. Making sure that right sides are matching. You're going to pin along the crotch. making sure that both um, pants are matching which means back crutch to back crutch and front crutch to front crutch you're going to pin all along that crutch line 
and leave a little opening at the back so that you can attach your zip later. Once that's done, you can go ahead and finish your seams and then turn your pants over to the right side just to check your stitching line. Once that's done, it's time to join the bodice to the pants. You're going to take your bodice, place it over your pants, right sides together, and pin along the waistline. Because my pattern has um, the side seam and then the dots, I'm going to make sure my seams and dots are matching. So when we turn it over to the right side, it's a straight line. Pin along the waistline. And then take it to your machine and sew on your 5 8 seam allowance. Once that's done, your jumpsuit is almost complete. Now what's left to do is to add the zipper. So I'm using uh, an invisible zipper just because I like the way it looks. You can use any zipper of your choice. But I think the mistake I made was putting the zipper at the back of the pants because I didn't like the way it had a, a weird budge on the bum area so next time if I'm sewing something like this I'm going to put the zip on the side but if you wish to create this look I would advise you put the zip on the side seam and not at the back or the front here I'm just going ahead to pin my zip along my seam allowances pin it on both sides Now I'm going to close that just to check that my seam lines are matching along the waist and that, that pink fabric is also matching along the neckline. Once I'm okay with that, I'm going to take that to my machine and sew the zip down. Once that's done, you should have something like this that closes nicely. And then we're going to finish the lining of the fabric. Now how to do that, you're going to turn the lining over to cover your zip. Which means you're turning the lining over on the main garments, right sides together. You're going to fold your waistline upwards and sew on a 5 8 seam allowance. Once that's done, you're going to clip around the corners corner edge of your zip head and then when you turn that over your lining piece should be finished nicely along the zip line Once that's done, it's time to finish the lining piece along the waistline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the seam allowances on the lining piece 
and making sure that fold covers the stitching line along the waistline. That's the stitching line that joins pants and main garment together. And I'm going to take that over to my machine. If you want, you can do a top stitch from the right side and on and a stitch in the ditch on the right side, but I'm going to be using a hand needle to finish the waistline. Then you move on to the hem, you fold your seam allowances in, pin that down, and then you take it to your machine and sew it all the way around. Once that's done, our jumpsuit is complete. I went ahead and added a hook and eye at the back neckline just to, for extra security when it closes. I hope you guys enjoy watching this tutorial. Please share this video, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.